Hey guys, this is Jeremy from Passion Reptiles. Uh, I haven't made a video in a while. I've had some lighting issues in my room and uh, here soon we're getting a new camcorder hopefully to make the video quality a little bit better and not so dark. Uh, this is my Firefly girl. She's growing up good. She's over 400 grams now. I haven't weighed her in a little while. Uh, sometimes she's a little bit nippy so she's kind of in that strike pose right now. Anyways, I'm not on here to actually talk to you about uh, ball pythons today. Uh, I've decided to venture into another breed of snake, which ball pythons will still be my main thing. But uh, I've decided to get into Amazon tree boas. Uh, they're very beautiful snakes. They come in a wide array of colors. Uh, they even got some couple pattern morphs. But I'm looking to get into those. Uh, I ordered two cages that each cage holds three that are 47 inches uh, wide, 18 inches tall, and 23 inches deep. And each one holds three, so each individual cage is like 23 by 15 by 18, something like that. Anyways, I have to make room for them, so that's the reason I'm making this video, explain what I'm doing to my room to make room. Um, my sections here, these are only th 33 inches wide, I think. Uh, but anyway, so I'm basically got to tear out this middle section so it's just a bigger, you know, 66 inch, 68 inch, whatever it will be, section. Uh, so my 47 inches are come over. These are also 56 inches tall, so eventually I could have them stacked three high. Uh, it will fit nine in them type of cages. And then I plan on getting a stack of three cages here that will be 20 by 23 by 18 for the little bit bigger ATBs. So females get a little bit bigger. Uh, but yeah, Amazon tree boas are pretty amazing, and a friend of mine, Samantha, really got me into them, and every time I'm over at her place, I'm just in awe over them, so I decided to dive into some of those. Uh, ball python's still going to be my main project, but it's always fun to do a little few side projects there, here and there. So anyways, I'll show you what I got going on. Excuse the mess, again, I'm moving shit around and tearing stuff down, but uh... This, is, this section used to be like that other one, and today I tore out the middle section that went right here. Well, in turn, I had to tear a bunch of other stuff out to get it out. So basically, I just got to go through, patch up the wall, paint the wall, the ceiling, make it all look pretty again. But uh, it actually lightens up the room a little bit more getting rid of the section. I've actually debated getting rid of all the sections. But I like having my shelf here. I know I could build one that stands up there without the sections, but it's kind of nice. Maybe I'll put some lights under there. But anyways, I'm going to move this over there for now. Eventually, I plan on getting rid of my melamine racks. Uh, I'm going to order animal plastic racks that hold the V18 tubs. And it's going to cover this whole area here. Um, and then uh, I'm still going to get more reptile basic racks to go under here like these two. To cover this under here, and I have, I'm getting a pair of great man king snakes that'll go in a tub like that. Um, plan on eventually getting into hog nose; they'll be down here. But there's room for ten of them racks. They each hold four, so there's 40, 30 quart tubs there. Uh, I still plan on expanding the ball pythons across this wall here. Uh, that's the wood I tore out, so excuse that mess as well. Well, I could fit eight racks across here. I might make it seven and do a stack of four or five cages for Angolan pythons and anchor red mountain boas, something like that that I want to get into as well. That's all in the future, though. Um, ball pythons are breeding good. I'll update you on that for now. Uh, they've been actually been picking up. Let's see, I only have two pairs together right now. I know the other ones aren't locked up. These ones might be locked up, though. Yep. They're locked up. So that's a uh, spider, my pastel calico male to a spider. So hoping to make some calico bumblebees. Should be pretty hot. Make some more pastel calicos. Uh, I only have one girl that's ovulated. She is over here. She's actually going into her shed now. Uh, she was bred to the mystic. So should expect the eggs within the next 40, 50 days from her. Um, but yeah, a board where I'm keeping track of all the breedings. Uh, this is each rack and then the females that are in it. Uh, these are all females that have bred at least one time. These are females that, these up here are females that I'm expecting to breed that I haven't locked up yet. 
And these two, I'm still hoping to get to breeding, and they haven't locked up yet. But yeah, I got plenty of lockups going on. Uh, I should expect another couple ovulations in the next few weeks. But yeah, besides that, I really am excited about getting into these Amazon tree boas. Uh, so make sure you check back for videos on them as well. Uh, that'd be pretty exciting. I already ordered seven snakes. Uh, four of them are adults or sub-adults. The other three are babies. They do give live birth, so I'm going to have to try not to mess up on saying the hatchling thing. But uh, yeah, it's pretty exciting. Um, I'll definitely do a video when I get them snakes. It'll be a little while. It's pretty cold here in Nebraska right now. But uh, I just thought I'd update you on what's going on. Talk to you guys later.